Welcome to Fine Arts Channel. This is my first video and today we will be drawing a phoenix. We're going to be using colored pencils and pencil for the outline. I hope you enjoy. So you're going to start with a white piece of paper. It's just drawing paper. You've got mechanical pencil, pencil sharpener, and if need be, this regular pencil. And now you just start sketching like so. So I finished sketching. To color, we're going to be using this 50 pack of colored pencils. Pull out the reds, oranges, and yellows as those are the main colors of the phoenix. You will also want a few grays in there to add some shade under the feathers and um, the area underneath the feet. So I've got seven shades of warm colors. They're going to be used to fill in the feathers. I'm going to get out my gray later so I can um, shade. The secret with colored pencils is to layer them. A lot of people don't do that, and I didn't either before, and um, if you layer them, they actually become darker and they also become richer. So I'm just going to color this area a nice red-orange. And as you can see, it does get darker as you go on. This can be used to shade, but it can also be used to convey fullness of the color. You do not want your colored areas to be very patchy. So I'm going to go ahead and color in this wing area, and then we'll see how it looks. So I finished the first wing. Um, as you might have noticed, I was erasing the pencil lines as I went. Um, that's partly because the pencil lines are a bit dark, and it's also because when you put colored pencil on pencil, it makes it really, really hard to erase, and that can impact your drawing. I used dark brown to make lines on the feathers of the phoenix and also just to indicate feathers on much of the wing. You don't really want a high contrast here, although there was, um, I did try to put a little bit of orange in. Um, we're going to do the next wing here and then um, we're going to get the main body done and then we're going to finish with the tail. finished the next wing and it turned out pretty good. Again, try not to have too much contrast, it'll make it look unrealistic and unappealing, rather cartoonish. Especially here, along with using a dark colored pencil, use the darkest shade of red you have. Here I have mahogany that I'm using. We're going to get started on the body. 
there are some different contrasts here and it's okay if that's how the pattern of the feathers goes. And I really want to put some detail into the eye so that it looks po it pops out and it looks very, very nice. Let's get started. I finished the body. Um, you'll notice I tried to use as many shades as I could here um, because the color that that should be is really a blend. It does not transition directly from yellow to orange or from red to yellow. You have to blend it. I used multiple shades of orange and red to create this area, orange and yellow to create this area. I used my pencil to draw in the pupil, but then I also gave it a little blending so that it didn't stand out as much with a brown. I drew in the feet as well. These um, should be done with gray or brown, and you should use a darker uh, shade of the same color to create the wrinkles of the feet. We're going to do the tail next, and it's important to note that these feet, because they hang over, this area will create a shadow. This is going to appear either as a darker shade of the rest of the tail, or as a brown or gray shadow. You can choose that. Just so you know, we are going to go in at the end and add some highlights and other things to help pop this image out. Um, let's get started on the tail. I have finally finished most of the phoenix, including the tail. So we're going to add some highlights and also darken some areas of the drawing. To add highlights, you just simply erase. And um, I'm going to darken areas with the dark brown or simply layer areas with the same shade of colored pencil. There are highlights that are usually on the wing, even if these don't pop out too much, like they aren't popping for me. Just having them be a lighter color helps them stand out just a little bit. This area is a bit abrupt and I'm going to want to fix that. That can be done simply by adding just a little bit of orange. If these areas seem muddy to you, try and clean them up by adding a little bit more orange or yellow. I want to just give these some more vibrance. Because it's so dark, it will most likely appear muddy. Because the phoenix is mostly the same color scheme, you can use kind of any color so long as they don't pop out like you wouldn't want to use a red on a yellow but you can use oranges on yellows and not have it make too much of a difference. I'm going to just add some shading under the eye, like that, and shade just under the chin. The area just between the legs will also need some shading as those are in shadow. And right here. I'm just going to darken it. 
the areas that you might need to highlight or darken would be different for you. If so, look for signs such as it's looking patchy and not vibrant or it looks cartoonish. Those are all signs that are going to point you to areas that need maybe a little bit more coloring. And there you have it, a uh, phoenix in colored pencil. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, and also hit the like button while you're at it. I hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching. See you next time.